to the Titans Blitz. You still feeling that win for Monday night? Oh, yeah. Yeah! I'm Lance Smith. Joining me on the show this week, a perfect show for the week. This guy right here. Yeah. He was a chief. He was a titan. He is Dexter McCluster oh, right man. here with us. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, hey. pleasure to be here, man. Thank it you for the opportunity. So great to have yes, you sir. here. Yes, you were so fun to watch. Uh, I, I, I caught up with you. Uh, Mr. Titan Party. Uh, yes. Shout out to a super fan out there, Mr. Titan. Uh, puts on a great YouTube show, yes. had you to the party, and I was like, Dexter McCluster yes, in sir. the flesh. Most definitely. I had a good time, man. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of fans like you guys, it had a great time, spent some time together, and there was a lot of Titans colors around, so it was a good time. Look, as a, as, as a Tennessee native, Nashville native, like you said something at that party that yes. really uh, stuck with me, and you, you said what? You said players when they come to play here. Right, so when I first got here, uh, left Kansas City, got uh, picked up here. A lot of people that I met were saying, you know, uh, a lot of players that come down here to Tennessee, they come here, have a family, and never leave. And here I am seven years later, thanks yeah. to you guys. Yeah. I'm still here, and I'm loving it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Let's yes. pop it up on the screen real quick, because this man is staying busy. He'll keep you fit. Uh, yes. What are you doing? Your personal training? Yes, I'm a personal trainer now. Uh, McCluster Fit. Uh, you can uh, catch the website. Right there. There it is right there, McClusterFit.com. Go on there, check it out. I offer many services. I love what I do. It's a passion of mine. I'm making my stamp here in Nashville, Tennessee. Still in shape. Uh, yes. Still fast. Yes. Uh, but let's talk. Let's get to uh, some hot takes with uh, Dexter here, and let's talk about some fast players from this game uh, Monday night. I'm still feeling it. I know they are. Uh, it was in, an incredible, incredible win. Yes. The atmosphere, though, is what I want to talk about first. Yes. I mean, they talked about a Buffalo takeover and nothing. No, no, no. Nothing it was all no. Titans. That's how, it's, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yes. It go was. Go home, Buffalo. Go home, yeah. Buffalo was the chant. Uh, highest yeah. attendance ever here at wow. Nissan Stadium, 69,419. The capacity is like 69,100 and something. So it's like people on shoulders, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was insane. Yeah. Right. It was like a playoff atmosphere. Uh, you know, you've played in loud stadiums. Yes, Kansas City Arrowhead, it's loud. Definitely rocking, yes. Uh, how, what does that do for you as a player, feeling that kind of epic energy? It's energy, man. That's, that's what you, you said it the perfect way, man. When you go out there, you're already pumped up, already ready to go. The week is over with, preparation is over with. It's time to come show what you got, right? So when you come out there and the fans are energized, electrified, and you see the stands are packed in your colors, Oh, man, it's showtime, and it's go time. Yeah, you know, it, it was showtime and go time. And listen, we're on the edge of our seat. We knew who was coming in this game. We knew how good Buffalo was. And there's a lot of Buffalo fans. And early on, Buffalo was moving the ball. And our defense holds them to two field goals. Yes. And the thing that got them going back again was we take the lead with Derrick Henry, man. Yes, this sir. guy. Yes, sir. Yes. Make some noise, baby. Make some noise. On this Crown right here, 76 yard run. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, this is to me where, you know, look, it was back and forth, seven lead changes, uh, but we really took control and put a stamp on this game from that man right yeah. there. Uh, you, are, you're super fast. He ran 21.8 yeah. miles per hour. That's the fastest of any player this season. That's his fastest yes. uh, score in that. What's it like to watch a man that size? Can you can speed. you imagine like can you imagine being the defender that safety <laughs> you got a guy that big coming at you 21 plus miles an hour mm. what do you do yeah the correct thing and move out the way and yeah. that's exactly yeah. what happened right so hey, listen when you got a guy like that like I said earlier when when uh, we were younger we create our players on uh yeah on, on the games right. and we make them big huge but he's the modern day everything man so shout out to the king man shout out to him uh, yeah. leading the uh, the league and rushing 783 yards yeah. uh, Nick Chubb uh, second at 523 it's oh. in, it's insane um, so yeah I mean it, we, we're watching history in the making uh, he's running his way to Canton as they say but one game oh, at yeah. a time and it's just it's nice to be in the moment and watching it live yes uh, and then of course the game was uh, it was amazing with Derek, but it yeah. wouldn't have happened without this defense that we're, on, we're putting now. on the field. Yes, uh, yes. Hats off to these guys. This defense, yes. this front seven especially, is getting after it. Harold Landry had himself a game. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. This play right here, uh, Kevin yeah. Byard's pick. Yes, sir. Uh, it happens from Denico Autry getting pressure right. on, on Josh That's Allen. what it's about. Right here. Yeah. Boom. Ball's in the air. Kevin Byard, a defensive leader. Ball hawk. And, uh, you know, I mean, but like I said, the, the, the front group is uh, – <laughs> they're they're eaten, yeah. but it was the for me it was the that final defensive play right. Yes, yes. We man. talked about um, this um, off air. Jeff unbelievable, Simmons, man. man. Yeah. He, yes, yeah. tap it up for the guy, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 tap it up for him. There it is. There that. it is. Jeffrey Simmons when, taking on an O line. Listen, when when he he lined up with he lined up with aggression. He knew what he wanted to do and he made sure it happened. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And of course, I mentioned at the start of this, Harold Landry uh, is, is, is having quite a season. And to yes. me, it's complimentary. Right. You've got Bud Dupree here on this game yes. who's making his presence known. Danico Entry, these, these new players, these impact players, uh, they're coming together and it's complimentary all around. And that's why a guy like Harold Landry yes. is coming in from the outside, from the middle. Uh, it's exciting. When you're on offense and you're watching your defense eat, does that does that man, it, it, fuel it, you for the next season? Yes, it takes that pressure off. You know, they they give they give you that momentum. You out there, they're they're giving you everything that they have. You got guys getting getting pressure on the quarterback. You got tip balls going for interceptions, man. It's 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 electrifying, right? And all you need is that little spark. So if you if you if you're getting if you're getting beat and you're playing on offense and know uh -huh. that you've got firepower, but if your defense can't do much, it's tough. It's it's hard to go back out there next yes. time because like, what's the point? Because they're just gonna score again. Yeah, I, well, I wouldn't say that. Oh, okay, it's, okay. It's, it's definitely a point. We want to go out there no matter what happens, yeah. you know, right? But you know, it's it's always good when that defense is is carrying their own and special teams is carrying their own and the offense is carrying their own. It makes yeah. things a lot a lot more more different than, yeah. and, and less difficult. Uh, listen, we got a big game coming up. We'll yes. talk about it later in the show. Happy to have Dexter McCluster yes. here with us to talk about it. Uh, the game was huge. The game was huge right now. Here are some Nissan memorable moments. We'll be right back with more Titans Blitz after this. Stick around. Gives Henry on the right side. There he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, 76 yards. Derrick Henry. Touchdown. Titans. Allen. Looking, hit as he throws ball up in the air, intercepted, fired. Allen, under center, sneaking, no, I don't he know. Did not make that. I do not know. The Titans think they have stopped it. They did it! They did it! Party after Monday Night Win. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz. Lance Smith now joined by the comedian DJ Pryor in the house. DJ! Uh, look, man, this is great because, you know, I know this, you're, you're getting your first uh, NFL stadium experience right. this season. Right. And we're sending you out there, but this was a Monday night this game. This was different. Wasn't it? Completely different. And around Bills fans, yeah. of all people. Yeah. So it's interesting because it started for me. I was in D.C. I had an event. And I ran into a whole bunch of Bills fans in D.C. Right. Right. So you, when you see this, none of this, this atmosphere was completely different. You warned me about it, I but tried. nothing could get you. That atmosphere Monday yeah. was insane. And as you can see, it paid off. It was worth it because we won. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, here it is. Here's DJ Pryor and all tightened up. Check this out. How did we get here? And by we, I mean us. And by us, I mean the Titans. <laughs> yeah, you see us. Yeah. And then these guys. Why are they so confident? You see, this journey started a few days ago for me in DC. All right, so I'm in Dallas Airport in Washington, DC, and I just ran into some Bills fans. So we got to, he said they're the best in the NFL right now. That's the NFL. So, Super Bowl this year. We're going. You think y'all going to Super Bowl? I don't know, man. It's going to be tight, but I got to keep my faith. I'm scared because it's a lot of them. You know, it's a lot of them. They're coming to our house to lose. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Monday Night Football. I've been warned. I've heard a lot about you, Bills. I've heard a lot about you. But I ain't scared. You know why? Because I'm tightened up. Let's go. My man, my man, look, last time we was, you came to the show, right? and you were like, yo, you got to come out there where I'm at. Absolutely. Uh, I've been warned about this game, brother. Let me ask you this. Why didn't you shave before you put that on? I was just lazy. I mean, come on now. Let's go. Do y'all really think? Y'all really think y'all got this tonight? Oh, yeah. Will you dump your wife, your new wife, through a table? What a minute. Yes. Wait, what a minute. <laughs> this is domestic. <laughs> Officer, we need help, dude. What in the hell, sir? <laughs> That's good, though. It's, oh, you got autographs on it? Yeah. OK. Andre Reed and uh, who's the, uh, Stevie Johnson. Uh, after y'all lose, you can part yourself with it. Uh, what is the end of the video right here? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Let's go! So we met a couple days in the airport. We did, yeah. You guaranteed a victory tonight. 
Well, I don't, I have to say it, I don't know. I don't know if I want to say guaranteed. I don't know if I said 100%. Okay. But I want to say I said 100%. Okay. Leans forward, and I don't think he got there. Josh Allen looked like he slipped down. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. But basically, the point is, I don't care how much of a bill you are. We still in tight. Tight up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, but this episode, this, this, I don't even know. I don't. We can't make this stuff up, man. You got the experience, That's great man. stuff. Like, if I told you all this stuff, you would never believe me. That's why the camera's got to follow me. Well, there's a lot that can't make it on TV. Right, Let's there's be a honest. whole I mean, lot that is They're Bills edited. fans. It's so inappropriate. They're Bills fans, yeah, right. exactly. I'm, I, I'm so excited to see you live this life. Man, it's great, uh. man. It's great. You know, it's even funnier watching my team experience it because uh, there's a lot of stuff we don't catch because Mike, Mike always got to go to the bathroom, so we miss a lot of stuff. We always got to take breaks. But other than that... There's magic it's, happening, it's, right? It's magic happening, and, and it's, it's just great, man. It's a, it's a great opportunity, man. There's a whole lot of stuff, like you said, that can't make it, but yeah. that... That was the atmosphere, man. You gonna do it again this Sunday? Oh, man. Chiefs game? What you said, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. DJ Pryor in the house. Thank you so much, man. We'll see you again next week. We got more Titans Blitz on this side. Do a little game show action. Stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. out with the most excited fans in the NFL after they went on Monday night. Going to take a break from the football action and play now our Titans Trivia Gauntlet. I'm excited about this one. There it is. I like that sound. This, uh, this special edition of the Titans Trivia Gauntlet is uh, brought to you by the official wine club of the Tennessee Titans, the Foolish Club. This is going to be very cool. The Foolish Club, actually, though, is the perfect gift for the upcoming holiday season. You can gift just the first shipment of these amazing Napa Valley wines or truly surprise that special someone or join and gain access to the special member store for the holidays. Foolish Club members receive exclusive access to amazing gifts. There is a vast selection of three bottle and single bottle wooden crate gift sets that will be sure to please any Titans fan. Go to foolishclub.com for more info and join the club. Very cool. So the winner tonight gets a very special package from the Foolish Club, and I'm here joined by Kelly, correct? Am I right here? Where are you from? Clarksville, I heard. You excited for this? Yes. Yes, and you brought Katrina here. I did. Are you are you mad at her for throwing you in the seat? Okay, but if you win, if you win, are you gonna share? I won't win. <laughs> I won't win, she says. It's multiple choice. Kelly, Katrina, good luck to you both. Let's get to it. Kelly, you won the, uh, we don't do coin tosses, we do rock, paper, scissors, and right. you, you beat the snot out of her. Okay, so here we go. Kelly, you ready? First question. Let's look to the big screen here. These are all Foolish Club related uh, questions. Foolish Club, by the way, uh, deals with the old uh, AFL. Here we go. How many owners made up the original Foolish Club that started the American Football League? Four, eight, 10, or 12? You seem very confident in that answer. Four. four. She says four. The answer is eight. Eight. All right, it's okay. The score is still tied. Katrina, you're in this thing. <laughs> you're in this thing. Okay, <laughs> Katrina, who won the very first AFL championship game in 1960? Was it the Houston Oilers, the Boston Patriots, the Dallas Texans, or the LA Chargers? Katrina, who do you think won? I'm gonna say the Patriots. The Patriots, the Boston Patriots, they are not around anymore. It was the Houston Oilers. You see the theme that we have going here? They were fools for competing with the NFL. All right, here we go, moving on. Am I being booed? The next question. The Foolish Club had several innovations that were adopted by the NFL. Which of these didn't originate in the NFL? Did not originate. Kelly, this is for you. Oh, gosh. Names on jerseys. Stadium scoreboard clocks, two-point conversions, or cheerleaders? Can I phone a friend? <laughs> <laughs> um, stadium scoreboard clocks. Stadium scoreboard clocks. 
No, That's what the NFL fast. brought. <laughs> Cheerleaders was the answer. All right, the score is still tied. I told you these were tough. It's multiple choice. Here we go. Moving on to the next question. What did Foolish Club members pay in expansion fees for their franchises in 1960? What did it cost to open up a franchise for the Foolish Club members? Was it 25,000, 100,000, 500,000, or one million dollars? I'm gonna say 100. Say 100,000? It was super cheap back in 1960. $25,000. That's a heck of a return on your investment. All right, skipping now to the final question. Okay. Only two members, Kelly, you answer first. Only two members of the Foolish Club's family continues to control the team today. Obviously, the Adams family still owns the Titans. What is the other team? Would that be the Buffalo Bills, the Kansas City Chiefs, Las Vegas Raiders, or Denver Broncos? Kelly, answer first. Vegas Raiders. Las Vegas Raiders. What say you? Are you going to agree with her or do you want to try to go against her? I'm going to say Broncos because I live gonna say in the Broncos. Colorado. <laughs> it would be the Kansas City Chiefs as one of the original <laughs> AFL teams. All right, going to the tiebreaker now. Going to the tiebreaker now. Look at your screen. Worst Here we go. Worst trivia ever. Quarterback George Blanda led the Oilers to two AFL championships in 60 and 61. When he finally retired in 76, he set the record for seasons played. How many seasons did he play, Kelly? For some multiple choice. So, <laughs> need an answer. Just throw a number out. Six. Six? What do you got? Eight. Eight. Eight is closer to 26. It was 26 seasons. Katrina wins by a mile. I hope you learned something. We're all foolish here. Hey, uh, we got more Titans Blitz on the side. Dexter McCluster's coming back. We're going to talk about this Chiefs game. Stick around. Blitz. I hope you enjoyed that last time. I mean, learn something. Foolishclub.com. Remember, check that out uh, for some uh, cool wine packages. Back with Dexter McCluster. We got to talk about this game coming up. Titans yeah. on a roll now off that uh, Monday night win. Yes, yes. But the Chiefs are coming to town. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be a great feeling, right? Because I got drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. So I spent some time there, got, got used to the fans. I loved it, right? Got here. Again, like we said earlier, I'm still here in Tennessee. So yeah. I'm loving this, this situation right now, man. I'm pulling for both of them. But I think this game is going to be about the defense. Yeah. The most, yeah. I, I think so. And yeah. right now, Titans have been playing the best defense. I mean, a, they really are. The right. Chiefs are not, apparently. Because uh, yes. yes. they're, they're giving up a lot of yards. Yeah. Uh, but they put up a lot of points, and they do right. it with Mahomes. Have yes. you ever seen anything like it? No, to be honest with you, uh, Mahomes is a different breed. Uh, we have some quarterbacks like Lamar that's out there doing similar sure. things, right? But this guy, man, you the play is never over, right? So you have to expect the unexpected, especially when you're playing that guy and when you got those speech throws on, on, on the outside. Yeah, and they play sideline to sideline yes. on these offensive plays. It's yes. not just, it, it, it's really crazy. This direction everywhere. Uh, yep. Over 1,800 passing yards and 18 touchdowns on the wow. season so far. So. High-powered offense, but you said it might come down to defense. How yeah. does how does a defense attack a guy like that? How does our defense <sighs> do? To be honest, man, you, like you said, the defensive line for the Titans has been doing an amazing, amazing job. So they have to put pressure. They have to contain him, right? Mm -hmm. They have to close it in, maybe spy him a little bit. But, again, that's that's a great quarterback. But, again, the Titans have the momentum, uh, have home, home field advantage. The fans are going crazy. So it's going to be a great thing, right? Yeah, that's right. They are. Yeah. That's right. There. Yeah. Like you said, you. I know you pull for both teams. Yeah. Right? But, yeah. But you're here in Nashville. Right? Yeah, most you're definitely. Pull for yeah. the Titans. <laughs> I'm loving the city. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the the defense. They're giving up 5.2 yards a carry, 8.4 yards per completion. Uh, so you know, maybe perhaps uh, Derek Ryan, the whole gang, uh, has a chance to. Uh, yeah, like we said, uh, the defense for the Chiefs. They've been struggling. Uh, but again, this is the NFL. You know. Uh, you got, you, they can come back a totally different team, yeah. you know, this, this coming Sunday. But with D. Henry, you better hope to slow him down because if you don't, you see what happens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I got to say, man, it's been great having you here. We just got a few seconds left. Uh, yes. But you were so fun to watch. We were talking off camera. You were, uh, to me, one of the original gadget guys. Yes, I mean, sir. you're wide receiver, yes, but sir. you rushed more. Swiss Army Knife, Swiss baby. Army Knife, Well, you yeah. need that, Coach? Yeah. I'm here. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> well, man, you're in great yeah. shape. You look Thank like you can still play. It's great to see you again. Dexter McCluster, everybody. Yeah.